The Interceptor 650 was one of the most anticipated motorcycles of 2018 and not without reason. Not only was it going to be Royal Enfield's flagship motorcycle, but it was also going to take the fight to a lot of big guns. Now that it's here for a while, let's take a look at five things that we really liked about the Interceptor and two things that we didn't. Let's face it, the Interceptor has taken a lot of inspiration from good-looking retro British motorcycles. And frankly, that's not a bad thing at all. Minimalistic, that's the word that best describes the Interceptor's design. The round headlamp, twin pod console, teardrop tank, wire wheels and those twin upswept exhausts all come together to make the Interceptor one good-looking motorcycle. With touring being its main focus, the Interceptor better be comfortable. And it is. The seating ergonomics are good, if not great. The handlebar is at a comfortable height the seat is low and the foot pegs, though rear set, are only slightly so. Plus, the seat itself might seem narrow and thin, but it does not prove to be uncomfortable. The light controls just make things even easier. The engine is also very rev happy and swings to its red line with surprising alacrity. The counterbalancer makes sure you don't rattle your teeth off and thanks to all the refinement, you also end up cruising at triple digit speeds very comfortably. If it goes so well, it needs to stop well too, right? And boy does it stop well! The Interceptor comes equipped with a big 320mm disc up front and a 240mm disc at the rear and there is ABS as well. The bite, the feel and the progression from the front bibre setup is spot on. ABS too isn't intrusive with minimal chatter. If you own any sort of Royal Enfield motorcycle, it's almost customary to accessorize it. Even for the Interceptor 650, you have an interesting list of official accessories available. Some of them are installed on the bike you see here, like the touring mirror, the fly screen and the touring seat. Also available are four gaiters, foam handlebar brace cover, crash bobbins, panniers and a whole lot more. Now the Interceptor is pretty comfortable riding solo. However, piling on a pillion will present some issues. For starters, it isn't the longest seat out there and if you have two healthy adults, it does become sort of cozy. Then there are the pillion footrests, which are set quite high and that isn't ideal for long rides. Being a premium tourer, one expects more features and comprehensive instrumentation, but that's not the case here. Not only is the design a little on the bland side, but is also lacking in information. You get an analog speedo and taco while the digital pod only has a fuel gauge, the odometer and twin trip meters. In comparison, Ari's very own Himalayan offers a lot more information. The Interceptor 650 is a job well done. No, it doesn't have the best ride quality in the business and the chinks in its armour do begin to show when you push it really hard. But it does everything else just so well, you can't help but ignore those flaws and love the bike for what it is. And with prices starting at rupees 2.5 lakhs, it's just an absolute must-have. <laughs> <laughs>